Okay, so we have come to the fourth video and the third case uh, in the uh, workflow and the user interface mockup sketchy thingy for blocks and layouts for Drupal 8 and things. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about adding con context and working with contexts uh, in the populated layouts, in the layout uh, editor or the block editor, what you want to call it. I'm going to start off with the block we created in the previous video. Uh, some kind of related content, no, uh, never mind, uh, pa page for displaying, block for displaying related content. But here in the right side, right column, we have a user presentation, actually user presentation because uh, I didn't fit all the letters in here. Um, it has missing settings because this one has a dynamic setting uh, that requires a user object as a data source that's going, going to be plugged in. And we didn't have any fitting and matching um, a data source to use. Actually, we did, but we didn't want to use that one. Um, so we click this uh, checkbox here, show dynamic data, and a lot of things show up here. Uh, I'm going to start with the left side here. We uh, get a list of all the uh, dynamic, well, the, the uh, data sources we have. We have some global stuff, uh, the acting user, maybe also the language being used and, and things uh, provided here. You can see this icon here says it's a user object, the acting user, uh, which actually fits the dynamic setting here in the user presentation. So we could use the acting user down here, but we don't want to do that. We want to use the author of the node we're viewing related content for or something. We have uh, global data, acting user and more stuff. We have some provided data, provided from the page that is calling this block or whatever place this block is being used at. Uh, we have a node being uh, um, provided here. We could add some new stuff, like uh, re if we require also that we have, I don't know, a taxonomy term or a user or something being provided when calling this block. Then we had to change the, the page calling this block so it provides the data. Yeah, they're all the required data, but right now we have a node and that's it. <coughs> we could change its name by changing the settings here and so on. Then, to make this uh, block, this component act as we want to, we add some derived data. From this node we pull out the node author, which will be a user object, and this is a derived data, so we add something new here, say we want to pull a user from a node, so let's use this plugin, whatever it's called, like node author, give it a name, author, and that's it. So we have now a new data source that is a user object, we can see by this icon here, and we can plug it into this one here. So we can uh, use the drop down and not select the acting user, but instead the author, and then we get the node author uh, being sent into this component, and we get the user presentation for the node author. Sweet! So the trick here is, if you show dynamic data, uh, you can see what data sources you have and you can add uh, new sources uh, derived from the, the ones you have already. I did something, something similar here, adding a dynamic text, like pulling out the uh, node title and adding some extra stuff like saying the stuff related to node title and then I'm plugging it into here. But I'm going to talk more about that in the next video. Um, this is a kind of a complex page. Uh, it becomes, becomes kind of, uh, well, a lot of information on it when you click this one, enable uh, showing dynamic data. Um, and it could be kind of difficult to know which uh, data is connected with which here, which uh, data source is being used as uh, in the dynamic configuration, dynamic settings. So I think it makes sense when you hover on one of these uh, dynamic settings, uh, the source it's using is highlighted and also other settings using the same source are highlighted. Uh, I think it also makes sense, to, I have some notes down here, to be able to configure this by dragging and dropping. So if I would like to have the acting user in the user presentation instead, I can click this and drag it down here and I would use the acting user instead. And I can click this one, drag it here, and then I will use the node author again. 
uh, things like that. Um, yeah, that's it. I think this user interface can be improved tremendously. It's just a mock-up to get ideas out there. Uh, feel free to improve as much as you like and criticize, of course. Yeah, that's it. Uh, see you in the next video, which will, I think, be the last one for this evening.